Hello everybody. Today I'm going to attempt to recreate a childhood favorite. In the 80s and 90s we had a product called Oatmeal Swirlers. Dad, you always give us the same oatmeal. We want no oatmeal swirlers. It's wholesome oatmeal. You'll feel good about giving us. The only one with this pouch, made with real fruit. For swirling on. Real raspberry. Strawberry or apple cinnamon. And oatmeal swirled with real fruit tastes great. It's like this, Dad. With oatmeal swirlers, we get a good hot breakfast. New oatmeal swirlers. The oatmeal you both want. It was basically an instant oatmeal pouch and they included a little little uh like a ketchup sized pouch of kind of a jelly like substance that you squeezed on top of the oatmeal and you could draw little designs and stuff if you want to i usually just poured it right on there and went about my day so i have this product here i got from the Briar Mirror Farms. I've got my old fashioned oats, which is all I have on hand, so that's just what it's gonna have to be. I always put a little bit of butter, salted butter, in the bottom of the bowl because salt's optional. And it's already in there and butter tastes good, so why not? The directions call for a half cup of oats and one cup of water. I've already put one half in. Here's the second half to make one cup. Just have to use one measuring cup that way. Here's the uh, directions here. We're going to be doing microwave microwave safe bowl, the old vintage Corel. Two and a half to three minutes until well thickened. Okay, we'll do that next. We'll use the 1988 Magic Chef, of oh. course. Oh. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do three minutes. come back when that gets done and of course during the time I'm waiting on this oatmeal to get done it gives me time to put the oatmeal back up and put my measure dry the measuring cup out and put it back up I always got to be efficient with the time and I will pause this and just see how it's doing. There's the butter on the the 10 o'clock part of the bowl. It's processing nicely. I don't have a carousel so I'm gonna manually rotate that 180 degrees and we will resume microwaving. It'll come back in a little bit. And while the microwave's chooching we can take a look at this label. Briar Mirror Farms raspberry syrup. Ingredients raspberry juice and sugar. It doesn't get much more simple than that. Oh, yeah, that smells good. So, this being liquid. I've got to pour it very carefully because it's not like that squeeze pack. And here we go. Mm. And that indeed looks pretty good. We'll stir it up and see what it does. All right, there's the butter. Stir that in. Actually looks like it could go a little longer. So we'll chooch it for about 30 more seconds and see how that does. Alright, 30 more seconds did the trick. 
Now I will pour the syrup on top very carefully. Let's see if we can recreate some raspberry oatmeal swirlers. Oh yeah, heck yeah. That ought to do. <clears throat> so now we'll do, give the old taste test. Oh hell yeah. That's it. That's exactly the flavor I remember from childhood. So now I will enjoy my homemade oatmeal swirlers. This is something I haven't eaten in like 25-30 years so this is awesome. So thank you for watching.